The next generation of lasers at the 157 nanometer level must overcome the difficulties associated with shorter wavelengths and processing the ultraviolet light at such minuscule levels. Short wave radiation below 200 nanometers is simply swallowed up into the atmosphere, which is why this area of the spectrum is called the vacuum UV. They are required to operate these types of lasers in a purely nitrogen atmosphere, or a vacuum. Additionally, in the 248 nanometer variety, scientists are able to use a variety of lenses. However, for the 193 nanometer lithography, the only option in the lens is quartz glass and a crystal material called calcium fluoride. Laboratories that manufacture special lenses also use enormous calcium fluoride crystals. These crystals are bred to weigh more than 100 kilos in a matter of a few weeks. Regardless of their size, the atomic structure of the crystals is totally unified. The lenses are polished with extreme precision because the margin for deviation is in the realm of a few millionths of a millimeter. Any greater unevenness results in the spreading of the ultraviolet rays, which can distort the clarity of the tiny structures. Beyond this scope is the next generation of technology associated with EUV, or extreme ultraviolet. They hope to utilize this technology in manufacturing computer chips. EUV is comprised of rays with a wavelength of just 13 nanometers. This 13 nanometer radiation is produced from xenon plasma. One concern is that the source must generate the necessary plasma from the xenon gas, which results in temperatures of several hundred thousands of degrees, concentrated on an area of just a few cubic millimeters. The extremely high energy in the shortwave radiation creates tremendous pressure on all the materials, leading to the very fast destruction of the electrodes. In addition, the whole process has to be conducted in a high vacuum. <laughs> 